Hey guys, today is Cinco de Mayo. Es un buen tiempo para decir bienvenidos a mis vecinos del sur. I said it's a good time to say welcome to my southern neighbors. Um, the call I have for you is um, I wasn't planning on filming anything. Um, I was just installing an inline float switch, an SS1 on a train variable speed inverter driven system. And I can't even tell you what the air handler is. Probably something like a TAM-9. But it's from 2015. But I was having a little bit of trouble understanding the codes. But yes, I did use Google and understand one of them once I left. And I did get a hold of train tech support. And outside I had trouble with one of the boards. The one that gives you um, some kind of diagnostics or error codes and stuff. I couldn't get it to do anything. But um, I'm not. I'm still not sure if I have to replace that board, and I'll go over that in the end. But um, I have a return visit already scheduled with the customer um, to be more thorough about maybe checking the filter and seeing why I had low pressure, and to check this board that I'm going to talk about throughout the video. Stay tuned. Here it comes. <laughs> Clog drain, clog drain. I'm, I'm going to show you how to get into the air cones on this train thermostat. Menu. Service. Press and hold technician access. And you can get in an installer set up. We're going to do a test mode. Run it. I'm going to try to run it. In the Check out mode cooling. Alright, I was trying to get in and show you how to get into the diagnostic codes on this thing. I think one of them that I saw was uh, that coal does not look dirty. One of the reasons I was wanting to do that was because I had killed the power upstairs while I was doing a alteration to the safety switches on the drain. And I wanted to see if it was going to clear all my error codes. This is 
some kind of surge protector. Alt two CD. Let me see if I can read things without uh, hooking up my gate. I think that's my power coming in right there. It looks like we have just one. There might be two boards underneath there, but some of y'all train experts. I don't plan on taking none of that off right now. It looks like we have a printing control board and a drive board. All in one. Place to test DC voltage. Okay, so it's running at about 136 volts, but it's not a DC, so it goes below the sine wave, past zero. Kilohertz. Duty cycles right at 50%. Nine kilohertz at 136 volts. Isn't this how you enter this? Well, that ain't helping me. Tetra Train CDA EMB test failed. EMB Let me check something real quick I think we got a problem with this. This little board here that reads the codes of failures, it does not seem to be, it does not seem to be reacting at all. 
Y'all tell me if I'm doing this wrong. I'm doing the up and the bottom arrow at the same time. It should let me enter diagnostics. Nothing. I'm not hugely familiar with these trains, but I thought I was, should be able to read like on um, pressures on this without putting my probes on. supposed to be at a hundred percent right now so that's kind of quiet get this plugged up we're gonna go look at the model and serial so y'all can see what I'm what I'm working on no. This is a train 4TWV8060 Alpha 1000 Alpha Charlie. See what my pressures are. Wait a minute, that's a hundred percent capacity. Eight degrees subcooling, sixteen degrees superheat. This might actually be a little bit low on the refrigerant, but it's cool inside, so I'm gonna I'm not gonna adjust anything. I am gonna do a little research and see if I need to replace this. I'm gonna pull up the manual on this. But I think I do. Well guys, I was able to get a hold of a train tech support on that and they can't tell me whether I have to replace that little diagnostic board or not. They said sometimes with certain calls it won't let you in and I was forcing it into 100%. So maybe that's why it wouldn't let me in. But he said go back when it's idle and check it then. See if you can get in and read your codes. But um, 
I have since done some reading on the manual and I have looked up every code that I could find in that one in the video that I showed you. I still don't know what that one means. It was not in the manual that I read. Um, but yes, it looks like um, twice it has given an error code of low pressure. So, and I kind of suspected that while I was there. So I'm gonna go back and do a leak search on this thing and try to get into this diagnostic board while it's in idle. And the train tech support said in the future, they're gonna have an app that Bluetooth with the piece of equipment to read your diagnostics on. So um, I'm looking forward to that. Thanks for watching. Feliz Cinco de Mayo. And I'll catch you on the next one.